Magaya, you can add a primary contact and additional contacts to the profiles of your customers, vendors, and other entities in your system. Hi, I'm George from Magaya. This video will show you how to add contacts so they're ready to use in transactions and show you how to set up tracking updates per contact person. You can add contacts to the following entities in the Maintenance folder. When you add contacts, they're saved in the Entities Profile and in the Contacts folder. To see how it works, let's add a primary contact and an additional contact to a vendor profile. In the Vendor list, let's add a new vendor. On the General tab, enter the vendor company name in the Name field. Enter the primary contact's first and last name in these fields. To add additional contacts for this vendor, go to the Contacts tab and click Add. When you're creating a new entity, the parent field is not active because the system will associate this individual contact with this parent entity for you. Click OK to save the new entity and contacts. After the entity is saved, you can always add more individual contacts later. The parent entity will be filled in for you. To see the contacts added to all entities in your system, go to the Contacts folder. Here you can also create a new contact and add them to an existing parent entity. Click Add, start entering details on the General tab, and select the parent company from the Parent field dropdown. Click OK to save. The individual contact is saved to the contacts list and to the parent entity profile. Did you know? You can give primary contacts and individual contacts their own access to tracking. This lets you customize the access per person. In an entity list or the contacts list, right-click their name. To enable them to see their transactions in the LiveTrack website or app, select Configure LiveTrack Access. Create a password or click the Generate button and then set their permissions. Now this contact will receive the updates you selected. To enable a contact to receive transaction tracking emails, right-click their name and select Configure Transaction Tracking. Set their permissions. Messages will be sent to the email address in their profile. To send a transaction tracking email, go to the transaction, click the arrow on the email button, and select Send Tracking Link by Email. In the email, click To and select Contacts or Other Entities from the dropdown. Scroll through the list for the person to email and add them. Now it's ready to send. As with LiveTrack, you can customize how transaction tracking emails are sent. Now you know how to set your contacts and keep them updated. See our other videos and the knowledge base to get the most out of your system. Thanks for watching.